Okay guys, it's Kate Borland again and I am shooting the next video in the GoDaddy website builder series or tutorial. And in this video, we're going to show you how to add and change images to your website. So what we're going to cover is how to edit your website images on your GoDaddy website. We're going to show you how to upload your own images to your GoDaddy website. And we're going to show you how to search GoDaddy's images to find the perfect image from their extensive stock image library. And why that matters is that if you use an image that you're not, that isn't licensed properly, you can get in a bunch of trouble. And I actually have a client who had a website that their previous developer had put an unlicensed image on. They got sued. It's, it was a big mess. And by using GoDaddy's pre-made images or pre-installed images inside their GoDaddy template or their website builder, you are protected. Now that said, um, it, the downside is that other people might be using the same images, but that's going to happen whether you're using, if you're using stock images anyway. So let's go ahead and pop over to the GoDaddy website builder and we will get started on that piece right now. All right, so we're back inside the GoDaddy dashboard and we're previewing the website again. You'll recall in the last video, we uploaded the image or the, the logo image and the favicon. And this is the next step in working with images. So what we're gonna do in this video is show you how to replace this header image or any of the images that are pre-installed with the templated information that GoDaddy provides you. So let me go ahead and edit. Oh, actually, I'm already in the website here. I'm in the website editor. I thought I was in preview. Sorry about that. All right, so what we're gonna do is I wanna change this header image. I want it to be something different. So what I'm gonna do is I take my mouse and I'm gonna go click into the header. What that does, let me move down here so we can kind of see. So we remember working with the editor that the element or the section that you're clicking into is what activates over here on the right hand side. So this is what you're working with, the element that you're working with. In this video, I'm going to work with the header image. I'm going to click my mouse into it and that then opens up this editor choice over here. It says cover media. I want to replace this. I'm going to click on the, the image inside the editor Im, um, itself. And now it opens up a whole another menu. I can change it to black and white if I want. That's what that looks like. I'm going to turn that off. Um, we do want to describe the image. I'll cover that more when I do the SEO or the on-site SEO. Uh, training, but you do if you have a name, for instance, Massage Therapy San Francisco or Massage Therapy, um, you know, Aroma Massage Therapy San Francisco. So you want to be as specific in terms of the keywords that people might search for. It's going to help you get ranked in Google and help Google and any of the other search engines identify what your business is about. So you do before you, you know, at the, if you're not doing it now, at least at the end, once the site is done, you might want set, to set, set aside some time to add uh, descriptions to all of your images. Anyway, so I digress. So let me go ahead and I'm in the edit menu. This is filled so I can change. I, I, I went through this in one of the other videos, but let me exit out of here. I, it gives me the opportunity to fill it all the way across, which I can do, or I can blur, which gives just a kind of a centered piece right here. And then it's kind of framed with a blur. I'm not sure why that's there. I per personally prefer the full width. So, and if you wanted to, you can also add a video. And if you change it to video, then you can upload one of your own videos. You can import a URL, you can select a video. Um, and right now we're going to go back over to images. I want to be an image and I want to change the image. So when I click on change image, this brings up my image library. 
So this is the stock media that's already installed for this theme. And it also includes the logo that I uploaded earlier. So what now I want to do is I want to look at my stock media and I can, if th this is what's kind of available in this theme, it's what's already on the site in one place or another. So let's say I wanted to use this image right here. I would click insert and the home page image changes. But let's, I mean, it really is as simple as that. So you can choose the, the pre-stocked uh, website or images that are already installed with the theme. But let's say you don't want any of these images. You want something completely different. So you can search within your, within GoDaddy's platform for a particular theme. So think of a keyword. So let's say I just want calm, um, <laughs> Oops, typo here. I want calm ocean. So I would then, so you can search for any keyword you want. So I want calm ocean. And here would be some really nice calm looking ocean breezes or ocean images. And I would, I could then click one of these through. That doesn't look very calm to me right there, but let's find one that's kind of nice. And I'm just going to click this one because I like it. So now I have a kind of resorty feeling fi picture. Um, and and I, this would obviously would not be one that I would use for massage, but you can search for any keyword you want. So if I'm gonna go ahead and click back on change image over here, and now I wanna search for massage, um, like say salt massage. Oh, here's a stone, a stone massage. So this would be a picture that would be I could use if, oh, I like this one better, I think. And I can view all 799 images. So if you're looking for a runner or if you're looking for a picture of a horse or a cat or um, cars, whatever you're looking for, you can put in that keyword and see what comes up in the GoDaddy image library. It's pretty powerful and all of these images give you, you have permission to use them on your website. You don't have to worry about getting licensing. You don't have to worry about giving contribution or any of those kinds of things from a trademark or copyright issue. It's all taken care of for you through GoDaddy. So I'm going to go ahead. Actually, I like this one. I'll use that one. And I'll insert it. And now I am back to the home page of my website. And the same thing's gonna happen for every single video. I click through on this one, I change image, brings up my choice of images, what's already installed on the site. And I can then again, search for a different image that fits my needs up here in the upper right hand corner. Alternatively, if you have taken some really nice images that are website ready and you've hired a professional photographer or you are a professional photographer and or uh, you know or you do take good pictures and you have images that you want to use all you're going to do is going to click on upload goes to your drive or to your own computer where you're able to upload it i do not have any images that i'm going to upload but it's pretty simple exactly the same thing we did for the uh, logo. So that's how simple it is to make changes to your images inside your GoDaddy website. And we're going to back out of here and I'm going to preview the website. And you can see that this change is now made. So there it is. Next video, we're going to cover how to work with the footer and then we will be done with this series.